collecting budwood is one of the most important uh, components to successful grafting. So this here is referred to as an axillary bud. It's in the leaf axle. Okay, this group here is called a whirl of buds. This is where the growth uh, terminates and then resumes. So you get a cluster of buds. And sometimes you just have to use these whirls and W-H-O-R-L-S. And sometimes they're referred to as knuckle, bu knuckle uh, buds. But um, this is a this is a very good specimen. It's very straight here. It's very firm. You can't. It's not flexible. It's or, or, or which would mean that it's pithy, spongy in the interior. All right. Now, uh, these are potentially flower buds, but they'll uh, but they'll actually push a vegetative bud. All right, let's see here. Here, I'm going to go down here. Here's one, uh, much smaller, uh, with some nice axillary buds. It is a bad time. Uh, well, I'm not getting a there. Uh, see how it's straight, and, and this this wood is also firm back here, smaller, spent pencil size here. All right, there, there it is. Focus. Okay, and then and there's another nice bud. Now all um, propagation budwood, cyan wood. Oh, there's a beauty right there. That's what you're looking for right there. Look at that. Oh, it's just straight, but you you're gonna have these nice axillary buds at the top. Just need a couple, but this goes for for all the deciduous, whether it's peaches, plums, nectarines, apricots, apples, persimmons. I, I've got a couple of figs and and uh, mangoes here. I'll show them. Okay, this mango tree doesn't have very much, but look, I can see one down here. See that now. If you look carefully, that one's actually feathering out a little bit, uh, as is the one above it. This is where parafilm really helps, because you can you can kind of preserve that tissue. Look at the tight axillary bud here, very very tight right there. Okay, um, but you can't. You can't graft something that doesn't have an axillary bud. See, there's no bud there. There's no bud there. Now, if we go back here, guess what? There's a whirl of buds. Now, yeah, that one on the lower right has feathered out, but there's two right there. So and now, yeah, it's going to be hard cutting on that thick stem there, but... Uh, I'm trying to show you buds. Oh, I see another one over here. Uh, well, this one here has the axillary buds. There's an axillary bud. There's an axillary bud. And then there's a whirl right there. And I would just cut to the whirl and use the whirl and that, whirl and that secondary and that uh, lower axillary bud. Let's go look at figs. I'm on my way to the figs, but I'm passing a persimmon. Now, do you see the persimmon bud there? This persimmon bud there, see? Now, had we picked this when it was dormant, this shoot, all this shoot here on the right, and actually there on the left, they would have been dormant buds like that one right there. And they would have popped for us, see? So, yeah, deciduous time, pretty much over. I like to bud in, uh, you know, right around January 1 to the end of January is a great time.